Hello and welcome to Gargar Knits. My name's Anita and I live in South Wales in the UK and you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Anita Ball. Show notes can be found in the description box below. We are now on the last Tuesday of November so it's the 30th of November and I can't quite believe that tomorrow is going to be December already but I'm quite looking forward to it because I have an advent calendar this year and also I have a new cast on that I'm joining in with a knit along but I will talk about that later. I thought I'd start off with showing you some of my finished objects and my works in progress, how far I've got along with my um, Christmas knitting. I'm pretty much up to date. I wanted to be up to date by the 1st of December so that I could join in the knit along and just relax a little bit through, through the Christmas month. So the first things I've got to show you are a couple of baby knits. I had almost finished them and I did show you, but I hadn't put the buttons on and sewn the ends in. So the first is the little cardigan here. Um, so I sewed the buttons on yesterday and the buttons I got for this are, where did I put them? Ah, over there. These are just little, well I call them the traditional kind of buttons you put on baby knits from mariners and there was seven on a card and I think it was about pound 25 something like that and I used the yarn was also mariners uh, the pure wool merino double knit and they're the two colorways I used and it they are in cherry and mist and I think it is very soft it's really nice and I think the stitch definition using this yarn is also very nice um, and I think it looks nice in all one colour and festive it's for a little girl and she's due in December so I think that's quite appropriate she her mum and dad don't like pink and blue so um, I went for that and the designer is Oh, I've lost that now. It's Oak Designs. Where did I put that? Oh. I'll look it up in my book because I have also mislaid the pattern. Not for the cardigan. I couldn't find that. I did try looking on Ravelry this morning, but it wouldn't let me on. So I don't know what's going on there. And the hat, the hat and the cardigan are from Og Knitwear Designs, and um, it's O G E over there. And this is the hat that I use the same colourways, uh, but obviously. I added the red and the grey and if you remember when I was knitting it I had too many stitches here but I just decreased down to the right amount and also I got a bit confused when I was doing this bit so it's a bit thicker than it should be it looks more like a little tongue perhaps it's Rudolph's tongue and this is for another little baby that's already been born but um, my friend has had three little girls in three years so I've already made socks and blankets and hats and things. So this one is a little bit more Christmassy. So I said I'd make her something more for winter rather than new baby. So I can get that off to her now that I've showed you. And they are really nice patterns. Oak Designs do lots and lots of baby wear and knitwear. And these, um, if I had the pattern, I'd know what age it goes up to. I did look, I did tell you before. But I will be making some more of these for older children. And the needles I used for the hat were 3.25 and then I think I went up to 3.5 doing the fir trees just so it wouldn't be too tight. And I can't tell you the cardigan because I tried to look it up on Ravelry, Ravelry like I say and I couldn't get on to their website. So that's 
the baby knits. Now on to Christmas in July, the projects that I plan to make for Christmas presents. I haven't got all of them done and there are some that I'm not going to do. So this is my bullet journal that I started in the year and Leslie from Not Quite Enough Yarn was asking me how I was getting on with my bullet journaling because she's thinking of doing it and I have to say I started off quite well. I started in June. Here's my June picture and um, I did recipes to try in the month and we had a little scoring board here as to how well they were received and uh, what else did I do? Oh, we had our sunflower competition, which I haven't finished. I have taken the measurements for the sunflower, but I haven't put that in. And I did a cleaning spreadsheet. I think I took, or cleaning schedule. I took more time laying that out and drawing it up, and drawing it up than I actually did cleaning. I don't like cleaning. I like tidying. I like everything to be tidy. Cleaning is boring. And then I have my bucket list for 2021, things I wanted to get done. Uh, plants vs Zombie Blanket. Oh, that's still in progress. Harry's Family Envelope in Running Stitch. Still in progress. Garden Chair Cushions. Mm -mm. Lampshades. Mm -mm. Tea Cozy. Nope. Felt Caravan Bunting did that because that was for Jodie. Uh, yes, so maybe they'll have to go on to 2022. And that was my progress for the blanket. And I did finish the bunting, but I haven't put any pictures in yet. See, it's pretty, pretty poor. And then we went on to July and much of the same, but I will try and catch up, but I've got my Christmas in July projects. Then I did August. I quite enjoyed doing the pictures for the beginnings of the month. And it, I just put stuck some pictures in that time. And then also my car needed a new battery. Ooh, right that way. A new battery and a new exhaust. So it cost me quite a lot of money. And I was going to put how much everything cost. But I haven't got around to that. And then in September, I've just got some pictures that I haven't stuck in yet because it was Jodie's birthday in September, which was lovely, but it was also the month we lost our dog, Charlie. So I sort of, sort of stopped doing anything in the journal then for a little while. And then Harry started me off in October. He's done October, <laughs> the picture for that. So I need to put some pictures in there and then do November. If I do November, then I'll have caught up. So anyway, I'm looking in there because I want to look for my Christmas in July projects. So I just thought I'd run through them quickly, the ones I have done. I have finished the fingerless mitts that I plan to do for Harry, who's eight. There it is. There they are there. And Jack, who's three. And there are his colourways. This is parrot and it's mariners again their four ply sock yarn and this is koala i think it's koala and it's lovely and soft and these matched up really easily but i had a lot of trouble when i was knitting these and the ball fell apart and got very knotty and i know a friend of mine is using this yarn as well in a different colorway and she's found that hers have gone all knotty as well so it might be a little bit of a problem, maybe in a batch or how they wind them up. I'm not sure, but I'm really pleased with those. And they are the Adorable Kids Fingerless Mitts. That's the pattern I used. I've used it before for Harry and they are a very simple knit. And I think these little ones took 15 grams of yarn and the bigger ones took 20 grams. So they're very good if you've just got a little bit of four ply yarn left over. Um, knit some little mitts for children and then the next thing that I have finished are well they're nearly finished two of the face cloths 
So I put them on here. This I bought from Etsy a long time ago and it's for blocking out granny squares. Yes, granny squares. And I wanted to stretch these face, because I want to use these cloths for face cloths. So I wanted to stretch it out a bit. Um, so I put them on there and then obviously I'll have to straighten them up a little bit. So the one on the bottom is the ripples. You can't really see because the navy. I'll try and put a picture in when I've I'll take them off here later and put a picture in and then the top one is bloom where you're planted and the cotton yarn I got from a market um, and I think I might have a note of the yarn somewhere but it's just cotton 100% cotton um, so that's for uh, my sister-in-law Sue and that one's for my friend who watches I think she knows she's getting it and I've got some other things to go with their presents so I might do a little video later on in December just showing wrapping all the presents up and things um, and then I can tell them not to watch so that's the face cloths right if you don't like nudity turn away because now is my nudie knits project that I was making for my brother and sister-in-law I have finished it doesn't quite look like it does in the book <laughs> but you if you look away now if you don't want to see any nakedness and then I will tell you when to turn back round so here she is the large Christmas fairy I have also done a little video so I shall put that in here so if you don't want to see her carry on not looking Right, I'm going to turn around so you can look now if you want to see. A bare bottom doesn't matter, does it? And she was a really enjoyable knit. She's got her wings on under there. Now this uh, yarn is that I made her in, her flesh, is, sham is the colourway is champagne and it's King Cole. Let me have a look now. I've got, it's, I'm using it as a bookmark to hold the book open to show you the proper fairy. So it was the King Cole Cherished DK, and like I say, it was champagne. And I've used the leftovers in another project that I'll show you a bit later. And then the hair is this super chunky from Mariners. And I just um, sort of threaded it through in the top to have two bits. And then I split the yarn. It was just ply, two ply, so that she's got this nice frizzy hair and then pipe cleaner for her little halo I'm not going to bother with a wand because I've got to send her off to America and I think it'll it'll probably just get all bent and everything anyway so and I don't know how to attach it to her hand really so I think they'll just to be honest I don't think they're even going to put it on their tree they say they will but there we are she was a bit of fun to make and she was out of this book a naughty knitted noel and the patterns are really nicely written and Jodie likes there's there's the cheese and pineapple you can knit and that's not rude or anything she likes that so I might have a go at making that for her next year and I knit her on these very old straight three millimeter needles because I don't think I had any three millimeter circular spare but I don't mind every now and then using these these are what we always used to use before we got all the posh knitting needles. Um, right. And the Father Christmas request I've shown you before, the two little jumpers, and I'm running a bit out of time now. They have to go to Father Christmas tomorrow so that the um, elves can wear them on Christmas jumper day. 
So there they are for Jack and Harry's elves. A bit packing those away. And the pattern um, I used for that, I shall write down on the screen. And the yarn was King Cole DK Glitz. And I've got some left. I'm thinking of maybe making a tree skirt if I can for the Christmas tree out of the leftovers. But we will see. I've wanted to make a Christmas skirt for years and I never get round to it. Um, the other things were... Right, I've just, I was going to make a catty glue for, for Sue, but I've decided against it because the wadding and things that you needed for the inside to make, make the structure was really expensive. Oh, I'm sorry if you can hear next door's car. I've got the window open. It's a really horrible grey, murky day, but it's quite warm. So, um, sorry, anyway, um, the wadding for the inside of the igloo is too expensive. I needed quite a few metres and it just outpriced itself, really. So I'm not going to do that for her, unfortunately. And I've also had a change of plan. I was meant to make Martin, well, Martin asked for a scarf, but I was going to make him a cowl. Then I changed my mind because I thought it's no point putting a lot of effort into making a cowl if he won't wear it because he asked for a scarf. So his project is in here. Lovely Christmas bag with a little snowman on the zip. And it's from Amelia Joy on Etsy. And I am using the yarn. This was the Aran weight yarn from A Little Bit Sheepish and it was the Falcon colourway and it's 100% British wool. This is how much I've got left. Now the pattern, I will write the pattern on here as well because basically it's a three by three rib um, and it's a, just a free one on Ravelry. And I've knitted this much now the pattern calls for more yarn than I've got but I'm just going to keep going until I run out and then I'm going to block it as much as I can to try make it as long as it can be. Sorry, Josh just came upstairs and I get really self-conscious recording if anyone else is in the house. So I waited till he went back out again. He had to pop home for something. So anyway, it's this, this long already. I've got quite a bit left. So hopefully it'll be enough just that he can sort of cross it over under a jacket. He won't want it too long. A bit boring knitting rib. But it's, it's okay. It's mindless, isn't it? And I am using more of these El Cheapo needles five millimeter because I didn't have any five millimeter needles in my stash so I went to Shaw's and I picked up these and I think they were pound twenty five in Shaw's. I mean you can't go wrong for that can you really when it's just something simple as that. I mean they don't have to do any yarn overs or knit two together or anything so they work perfectly well for that project. Um, right, so I'm looking on my list. Where's my list? So I've pretty much done everything. And down here, this one is the uh, is the crocheted Christmas tree by the lovely Davina of Little Workroom Crafts. Now I did this quite early on, and I haven't finished it yet. So that's Davina's picture. It, it looks quite close, I think. Let me come back a bit. And I've just got to do the trim on it. I think I was, there's these tiny little pom-pom things on here and I was having difficulty finding those, but I'm going to sew beads on mine instead and just trim this up and then I'm going to firm it up a bit. Um, or even if, if it's hung up against a wall, it won't matter anyway, will it? But So I'm quite like that. This is really my beautiful beautiful Christmas yarn from Tith and Brin. It's gone a really long way. I knit a Mount Pleasant in it. I think I only had two skeins and I've made this and then I'm also going to put it in my new sock cast on for tomorrow. 
so that'll be fun so that's all my christmas makes done and i was going to do another face cloth for my cousin nikki but i run out of time and i'm not going to stress over it she didn't know she was having one anyway she probably wouldn't even want one <laughs> i don't think she's that bothered if she doesn't get a face cloth so i'm not going to put myself under any pressure they're just all the things i wanted to do for christmas and they're pretty much done or nearly done so i just put my little bullet journal away and i will try and get that up to date in december um yeah because it's nice to do it's nice when i was looking back on things and thinking oh i forgot about that so uh so i'm just gonna put my la my label in there otherwise i'll lose it right so that's all my christmas knitting and then i thought i would move on to my anchor sweater this is a project bag from Little Work on Crafts. Very pretty, not Christmassy, although it has got a star on the one side. And I am doing the anchor sweater by Petite Knits, and I got the yarn from Hobby. Uh, it's the Diablo, and it's a bit hard to show, so I haven't been putting many pictures on Instagram or anything because it's. Um, I'm joining in with the jumper along, jump along that Anne from Spa Knits is running, but it's a top-down sweater. Far. So it has a sort of ribbing around the neck, which um, gives it a bit of shape, which is nice. And then it's just all plain knitting in the round all the way down. And you hold two strands together, which isn't a problem at all. It's not getting knotted or anything. Sorry, the bin men are outside now. Could just stop, couldn't I? Well, you'll just hear noises because I've got, like I said, I've got the window open, and I am using. Let's see if I can show you the, the yarn, yarn. Oh, the the label Diablo there from Hobby, and it's 30% mohair, 30% nylon, 40% acrylic. It's really nice. Hoping it's not going to be too itchy. Right, they're going off down the road now. They decided to stop outside my house and have a chat. And then they were clanking and it was the recycling ones. They've gone now. So anyway, I wanted to show you another little project. Now, every Christmas, I make the Dolls House family Christmas presents or buy them. It started as a little jokey thing when my daughter was little and it was her, help, her Dolls House. And then it sort of became a, a thing. A tradition and now my boys my grandsons expect them to have presents as well and kind of running out of ideas so if you've got any good Christmas ideas for a, a, a doll's house mum doll's house dad doll's house gaga doll's house bumpy a doll's house jack and a doll's house harry and maybe their uncle josh is coming back from Australia now the real uncle josh has been back from Australia for several years but the doll's house uncle josh is still over there having a good time um, so anyway, I have made two presents, one for the mum and one for the gaga, and they are necklaces, and they are just beads that we had, are they focusing? I can't tell, but they're just beads that I had from, um, Jodie was going to do jewellery making and I've done some stitch markers and different things. So we've just acquired them. So they're out of stash and there I just threaded them onto cotton, not elastic, because I've made sure that they go over their heads. So I will be wrapping those up as pre Christmas presents for the doll's house people. So if you don't have enough people to get for, but it's a bit fun and I always decorate their doll's house. So I, I'll, um, I'll do that in December and maybe... I'm not going to do Vlogmas, there's lots of people doing Vlogmas, but I might put a video up sort of halfway through the month, just showing, um, decorating the house, maybe a bit of baking and some crafty things um, that maybe I've made. Just because I did do Vlogmas a couple of years ago and I was all enthusiastic for it. And then last year we all had COVID and this year, I think I'm a little bit scared just in case it all goes wrong again. I don't want to get 
too excited about Christmas just in case it doesn't happen so uh, I'll leave it to all the other vlogmas people which I'm, I'm looking forward to watching everyone else's but I might put one or two videos up and also because I've got this advent calendar I wouldn't want to open it and show every day because it's a 12 days of Christmas advent while well, some people might choose to do the last 12 days or maybe every other day I'm not I'm starting on the first I'm going to open one every day so I don't really want to show those off just in case it spoils it for somebody else so I might put one in sort of in the middle of the month and then my usual one on the last Tuesday of the month because then I can show you um, like for example the face cloths I'm making them into little packages I can show you actually what I put with them maybe to give you some ideas for next year but I don't want to show them for Christmas because I don't want the people who are getting these gifts to see the complete gift if you see what I mean they may already see well they've seen things I've shown on here but anyway that's my plan whether I'll stick to it I don't know so I've got some dolls house necklaces and I've also finished a little uh, embroidery I was doing and it's from so so unique and it's the Tompty coaster kit now I have finished the one here and he is so adorable he's really cute I love him and the felt is really soft it's really nice sewing on felt very smooth and it's very soothing and I really enjoyed it and I don't want to make it a coaster so if anyone who does cross stitch or embroidery if you can give me any ideas how I can display this because I'm not going to have it as a coaster and someone put a cup of tea or anything on it because it's too pretty I thought it was really nice and I could put it in a hoop maybe put some fabric on it so that it can fit in a hoop or if there's any other suggestions and when you get this kit Julie uh, from So Unique is very generous and she puts in more than enough supplies to make the Tompty so obviously I've got another one of these because that's meant to go on the back and I've got all the different sorry let's get the shine but all, all the different fabrics there's enough to make another one I, I would say and there's all my little bits cut out and then you had two full skeins of the main two green and red colours and as you can see I've got plenty of that left and I have then you had the pink for the nose there and you also had the just the gold sparkly for his beard and I've run out of that but I have got something similar that I could use to make another one so I could thought I might make two so if you have any ideas how I could display them please let me know because I would like to put them up somewhere and show them off because they're so pretty um and well i don't know would they just be for christmas look how my nails match perfect um because it's holly and berries it could be all winter i mean he's not father christmas is he he's a top tea so we'll see so there's that And my, the next thing I've been working on, when I should have been working on my Christmas projects, you know when you've got to do something and then as soon as you, you feel there's pressure to, to work on it, I don't want to work on it, I want to do something else. So do you remember when I came back from the NEC, I'd had, I had a little pack of free yarns from the Knitting and Crochet magazine and they were in these little... 25 gram oh 22 gram little balls all different colors or well, mainly ooh, pinks and greens so they were very pretty and some reds in there and I decided to make granny squares so I started with I was just going to do one or two and then I used all the yarn I had and made as many as I could and then the outside creamy colour is actually the King Cole cherished champagne colour from the Christmas fairy 
because I needed to make them that little bit bigger and then I'm going to join them all together. I've got this much left so I'm going to join them all together with that and maybe crochet around the edge and I thought I could make them into a cushion cover because I think those colours are quite Christmassy. I've lost the ball a minute. There we go. I've got a little bit of the colours left, not all of them. So I'll have to add those to a different project. And this is the needle I used to crochet them. It was one, it's one of those very cheap ones that Martin put some polymer clay and decorated for me in, and we've got a little indent there to make it easier to hold. And the book I use to make those is, where did I put the book? I'm losing everything today. I put them out, but I left them on Harry's bed. So I also found the pattern there. That's the pattern for the Christmas, fur Christmas beanie, if anyone's interested in making it. So the crochet granny squares I got out of this a little course in crochet. And I thought it's nice. Look, it's all colour coordinated, even with the book. Coming to the end now, not much, not much more. So the other thing I wanted to show you was my sock pattern, not my sock pattern, the pair of socks that I plan to cast on tomorrow, 1st of December. Uh, I don't know if any of you are doing the, this. It's the Farmhouse Christmas Socks by Angela from Knitting on the Farm. It's her first ever pattern. And she's doing a knit along all the way through December. So I thought it'd be a bit of fun just seeing everyone else's projects and how they're getting on. And I have decided to do the main part of the sock also in red. I did on Ravelry, there's someone has made a pair in a sort of oatmeal colour. I thought that looked really nice, but I was a bit worried my trees are going to be green, that the green thread running between with oatmeal, you'd be able to see the, the yarn behind, and I didn't want to do that. So I've got West Yorkshire Spinner's Signature 4-ply in Cayenne Pepper. And I ordered it from the wool stack on eBay and it came vacuum packed. Look at that. So I thought that was quite fun. I have had one yarn before del delivered like this, but I thought I'd just show you. It's good, a good way of sending it because it was on eBay. If you order from the wool stack on eBay, it's free delivery. But if you go to the wool stack website and order, you have to pay delivery unless you order over a certain amount. So Obviously, I bought it from eBay and it can go through your letterbox. So then it makes it cheaper for postage for them, not for me. And then the contrast yarns. So the trees I'm going to make with my beautiful Stellina. Um, so this is from Tith and Bryn four ply. I think it's called Vintage Christmas or Vintage Christmas Tree, something like that. And it was from a couple of years ago, so I don't know if she's doing it this year. But it's beautiful and soft and it's just, I think it's my favourite yarn of any because it's green and it's Christmassy and it's got glittery bits in. And then for the the uh, tree trunks, I've just got a brown. This is out of my stash, so I can't remember where I got that from. And same with the cream. And obviously I'm doing the trees green this is lovely and soft I don't know what it is but the actual little um, lines above above the tree and below I'm going to do in in this and maybe I might do the toes in this and although she's done a very tiny heel bit in the contrast color I might do the whole heel because I do like the look of the whole heel being the same the contrast color and you are supposed to use 2.25 and 2.75. Uh, well, I'm using DPNs. So I think she's made it for Magic Loop. It won't matter. It's easy enough to do. Um, yes, this pattern is written for Magic Loop or two circular knitting method. 
but I'm going to use DPNs and I'm going to knit them kind of at the same time. They're my DPNs. I'm going to knit the cuff on one, then the cuff on the other, then the trees on one, the trees on the other, then the leg, you know, like that. So sort of not what you call that when it's they're not sort of not all together but one after another anyway whatever that's called that's what I'm doing so I'm really excited to um, start those and the reason why it's in this little bag here not in a proper project bag is because of this this is my advent calendar that I have got from Jeanette at Crafty Clegs and obviously I have opened it just to have a little look inside and it says dosage one gift to be open per day preferably while seated caution exceeding the recommended dosage may result in a feeling of euphoria and dizziness but I have opened it and um, that's right at the beginning look at the top there's my uh, name on a little tag and I couldn't help but peep underneath and I can see I know there's a project bag in the top so I thought it'd be perfect so tomorrow 1st of December we will or the people joining in will be casting on their farmhouse Christmas socks and so will I but I will be putting it in my new project bag from Jeanette so I'm really looking forward to that ah, so that's everything I've been up to and just the plans I've got for December so it's not too many I've got a finished artist scarf cast on my socks open my advent calendar not a chore and try and maybe get my bullet journal up to date and crochet together my little granny squares I think the Christmas tree skirt might be scrapped again this year or maybe I'll make it in between Christmas and New Year ready for next year. Who knows? How are you getting on with your crafting? Are you making presents for people? Do you make things for yourself? Um, do you have any knitworthy people? I think some people, well, obviously some people are more knitworthy than others, aren't they? I, I know certain people I make for, it's a delight to make for them because they are so pleased with the items I make and then I see them using them or wearing them a lot which is the ultimate compliment isn't it so yeah I hope you all have a nice December whatever you're doing whatever you're up to I will hopefully pop in halfway through the month maybe two weeks in just to show you what I've been up to and show you the doll's house decorated and some of the different bits and pieces I've got in mind but failing that I will definitely see you at the end of December after the, everything is over and done with. So have a very happy December and I shall see you later. Bye for now.